To be successful in a hands-on scenario, you've got to have both fitness, which can be strength, you've got to have endurance, and then you've got to have technique. If you don't, you resort to using disproportionate amount of force. We took an oath to take care of our community, and if I can't get there to stop that threat or stop that problem or get to my buddy that may need me, my partner who counsel me, and his family is counting on me to make sure he or she is okay, I've got to be physically fit to be able to do that. Oftentimes, it's uh, check-the-box training that we see agencies have where they're really not dedicated to defensive tactics. They just want to say that they do defensive tactics. And defensive tactics has to be built up from a foundation and continue into scenario-based training to where officers are building blueprints on how to respond out there uh, based on technique, based on concepts, based on physical fitness as well, uh, and you know, evaluating the situation to say, should I engage? 